Invasive pest plants degrade natural ecosystems and agricultural landscapes, threaten biodiversity and interfere with human health and recreation. Giant rat's tail grass is fast spreading and highly adaptable to a wide variety of environmental conditions. Giant rat's tail grass grows in tough clumps producing up to 85,000 seeds per square metre in a year. These seeds can remain viable for up to 10 years. The seed's head shape changes from a rat's tail when young to an elongated pyramid shape at maturity. Giant rat's tail grass outcompetes desirable pasture grasses and causes losses in carrying capacity, decreasing production by up to 80%. Under the Biosecurity Act Queensland, everyone has a general biosecurity obligation to reasonably and practically reduce the risks associated with invasive plants on their property. There are a variety of treatment options available, including manual, mechanical and chemical. The size of the property that I'm managing is just over 1,000 acres. The impact of giant rat tail has been that it reduces the amount of feed for the cattle and it is very, very invasive. Over the last 10 years, we've started off using wick wipers. Uh, we've done spot spraying. In recent times, we've introduced using granules. Management of giant rat tail grass on the property has been very successful and we're in fact just about down to zero percentage. Tips I would give to manage giant rat tail on your property is don't let it come onto the property. Try and deal with it straight away. Don't wait. Remove all seed heads, remove all plants. Pasture improvement is a very important part of treating giant rat tail. If you don't put something back into your pasture or wherever you're treating the problem, it'll come straight back. Good competition is what you need to beat uh, giant rat tail. Giant rat's tail grass is a restricted invasive plant under the Biosecurity Act 2014. Council undertakes biosecurity programs to assist residents to manage their biosecurity risks and become compliant with the Biosecurity Act 2014. Council undertakes biosecurity programs to assist residents to manage their biosecurity risks and become compliant with the Biosecurity Act 2014. Sunshine Coast Council has wick wipers, a quick spray unit, knapsack kits and splatter guns available for hire free of charge for residents. Get started and download the Weeds of South East Queensland app for assistance with weed identification or contact Council's Customer Service Centre for further assistance and advice or to talk to a Vector and Pest Plant Control Officer about pest plant identification and control on your property.